some code up here got my new bingo card okay ready early and a stream day so we're bingoing first bingo of the day yesterday that's as far as we got today we'll see how it goes but orky dork Get some hack and plan stuff going on because there's some stuff I gotta do to get some heat on the feet. Not this one. No, no, no. We're gonna go BFRPG tools. So we don't have, yeah, we got nothing. So let's put a task in here. So armor class. There will be more to armor class as we go. And then here is a task. Uh, we're going to call this a bug, which is that con mod effects hit dice. Okay. We're going to work on this one first because, because. Um, the base armor class with subtasks base AC is 11. Uh, Dex modifies AC. And that's about as far as we're going to be able to get until we bring in armor. Or, or do we? Right? And we'll even put another one in here. We need money. And we're, how are we going to put that in? All right. So that's that's what's going to go on there. So. What I need for my Maria database. What are my data types? There's a boolean, tiny int one. Okay, tiny int one. Bit field type, this is. Sure. Text to text is has a lot. Tiny blob, tiny text. Var binary, var char, variable. Okay, so, all right. We're going to go with abilities. And we need to add 
effects hit die hit die hit dice your data type is going to be a tiny int one and we will allow nulls for the moment okay go into my data hey go la 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 man That's not far to go at all. All right. My character hit, how does, how is all this gonna go? Character hit dice. Okay, all right. Oh, you know what I don't do? You know what I don't do? I don't put ability modifiers. Do I do that as a function? Okay. All right. Let's learn about uh, MariaDB functions. I want to create a function. Those, the, these are always so awful. All right. Create function in, in, out. Okay. Returns int. Okay. Sure. You create a function. Well, let's just make one. Create a stored function. So stored procedure versus stored function. Okay. Okay. The name is get mobility modifier it returns a value yep returns an int sure is it deterministic okay And primitives need to add called good old param one. You are ability score. You're an integer, and there you are. Okay. Now I think I need a MariaDB case when. The good old case statement. <sighs> so we just go, all right, okay, so let's get um, my PF let's read let's read the rules here and this 
There we go. So case when Did I just say return case when? Oh, case this. Let's read this. Let's read the syntax of this junk. So case v case case and case sure. When three, when four, or I don't know if this works. Okay, Marie, maybe. There we go, delightful. is return zero. Oh, I gotta put then. I think I gotta put then. Can I say this? How about this? Can will this work? Okay, we have to do this. Well, this is goofy. But I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Okay, come on. Up, oh, gotta put the semicolon. A very pedantic language. All right, we'll figure it out. Hey, it did the thing. Get ability modifier. Oh. So then.
Yeah, security capability details. I uh, get the modifier a dot out a dot ability score as ability modifier. That work. Else return. Minus nine nine. I don't know. So let's save that. But that should work. Good. Ability modifier nine. Run that. What do I call it? Hey, cheap viewers! I need some cheap viewers. You got any free viewers? I need some free viewers. Get ability modifier. It's called get ability modifier, is it not? Select. Okay. Then this is broken. This is broken. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so that now works. Okay, fine. New durability details. Raw data. Yes. Yes. Here's my ability modifier. Good for me. Alright, so we need to, we didn't need this, we're done, okay, so we're good. So my ability modifier over here, actually I want to change this so that my case else doesn't return anything. It only works for these values. 
Okay, great. Fantastic. All right. So let's let's no longer have this as part of our code where the ability modifier. A little bit more. We are going to put a little bit more. Come on, a dot effects hit dice, right? Sure. We're putting business rules in the database, everybody. Business rules in the database. That's what we're doing. Okay. Hello, Graham. Oh, but I was going to get cheap viewers from the Wookiee. I was going to let the Wookiee win. Don't let the Wookiee win. Don't, don't let that Wookiee win. You even spelt it wrong. Hello, because Wookiee is spelled this way. Wookiee with two E's. You can go ahead and look it up. I did the other day, and that's why I know. Oh. And really, the fact that there's a double E is just more proof that the Wookiees are, the Wookiees represent the Finns because of all the double vowels that exist in the Finnish language. Just more evidence. Okay, so I have this, I now need a oh, character hit dice. I'm going to go with the character hit dice details, right? Character hit dice details. This is the die roll. And then also there's got to be... Character details, is there, there's like, there's hit points, right? Hit points. So I need to take a look at this view here. There's a lot of stuff going on.
You can either view character or hit dice details. Okay, I'm going to go character hit dice details. I'm going to make a character hit dice details view. This is character hit dice details. But before I do it, I don't, okay, I don't, don't need this right now. Not yet. Okay, select from character hit dice chd. Left join character abilities ca. Shall we cross join? No, nope, left join. Left join character. Abilities CA on CA dot. This is where the character ID is equals CHD dot character ID. I'm going to left join abilities A on A dot. Ability ID equals CA ability ID. So we run this up. Okay. Select. We're just going to select the star. It's going to be a lot of stuff, but it's okay. I'm going to do a, a pocket wear. Okay, so most of these things are null. So effects hit dice. Ability score. So I can just do this, effects hit dice, okay. Okay, so. What's the thing we need? We do need CHD character ID. We need that. CHD die roll. Actually, we need chd dot character hit dice ID. So that's our unique key. We also need the we need all the things. I'm pretty sure. CHD star. Right. We'll be more specific. CHD dot that one. Die. I'm going to die. Roll. Okay. So we wind up with a bunch of these things. And. going to go a dot effects hit dice times get ability 
modifier CA ability store. Okay, so what? Are you gonna work? You gonna be nice? Okay. You can go CA dot ability score. To make sure that the numbers are correct. There's that one. That one's a 13. That one's, they're all 13s? That's weird. Okay. And we're going to join it. We're going to group by. But the sum of these things. Group by. These things this is the die roll. We're going to do these two things together. And we're going to have to also do a most, one, and that. And I think uh, most. Oh, sorry, this is its greatest. There we go. So this is, tells us pull you modified die roll. Okay. This and So this character hit die in the modified die roll goes just like this. Save you. In the character details, your hit points. Character hit dice details. Yep, character hit dice details. Oof. Oof, oof. No, this doesn't work. Ugh, yuck, 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 yuck. No. No. That doesn't work. Did it wrong, did it wrong. Well, not exactly wrong. Okay, let's try to figure this, well, let's try to figure this out. 
So this is correct, I think. You know what we do need? We do need more data points in here. So let's let's make some characters. New character one. New character two. Time is always 13. Can I get a character that is a four? A constitution of 10, thanks. New character six. New character six. I want, just want. Finally, Constitution seven. Great. Good. Thanks. Let's take a look here. Any of them that are zeros? No. So is there a place where there's like a one? I'm gonna put actually the CSD die roll. CSD die roll. So that goes down. Oh, yep, okay. Character 45, everything is affected minus one. And it goes, okay, so that's good. So this is correct. Good. Okay, so you're you're good. Save that content. No. Okay. So the die roll is affected by the constitution here. And in character details. No, stop. Don't do it. Okay. And is this the place? This is not the place. So no, that's okay, that's fine. No, 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 no. <laughs> C sharp 30, okay. So, um, Yeah, you know, you know. So, what what are some C? Let's 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 pursue this for a minute. C sharp thirteen features. 
Following new features. Okay. The params isn't modified to array types. Okay. That is uh, syntactic sugar. Um, what was that? Yeah, was that is it, was that really important? Okay, so <laughs> we are free, free to not call to array. Oh, good! Yay! So, um, yeah. Okay, synchronization things. Okay, so uh, locking. Uh, this is a you know, the, the there is there is there is a pattern. Yeah, to a yes with the with the umlauts. It's all to no. We we can we can have i enumerables and other things. So, um. There's a there's a pattern for for the lock for the old lock right so so may, this for the type of coding I have there there's lower impact on this and but even if I did have a need for it I would find a way that works I would employ whatever way it works and I'd move on with life and I believe my 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 old way was you would check lock check yeah you can use slash e as a character literal oh good um all right All right. Um, okay, well, sure. If they're using that one wasn't good, well, that's why this one exists. Okay. <clears throat> sure. Okay, this okay, method group natural type. The feature makes small optimizations to overload resolution involving method groups. The previous behavior was to compile and construct a full set of candidate methods for a method. Okay, so uh, sure. The implicit from the end index operator with the carrot. We we we're making a little coolie hat. Uh, all right. Sure. Ref and unsafe in iterators and async methods. Okay. Okay. So I regard using ref and unsafe to be a code, either one of these things is a code smell. I think I just accept it as part of how, how life life is and how life now works. Extension types.
Okay, C sharp extension times. The new ex extension everything feature of C sharp 13. So, extension methods, I see. Where's extension types? Oh good, my code will become awesome. Nick says so. Okay, well these things are great. All right. Well, I'm sure they're very, very proud of themselves and I'm, and I'm sure that eventually when people can move into into dot net nine that all this everybody will be up oh, there we go explore the latest preview features let's see what is collection of the app block that 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 up to update ah very excited about the extension chat now see Design and implementation are going to take more time, so this is for later. Later. C sharp 14. You can, you have to wait. <laughs> to rust. Oh. See what we really what we really need is to come up with our own super safe language and call it mittens. For <laughs> coding coding with mittens. You can never do anything unsafe at all. Ever. I'm gonna code my game in mittens. Ah, uh, we can make a little, have like a cat as the, as the uh, mascot. That'd be great. Wouldn't that be great? That'd totally be great. Fuck okay. okay, so you need to hit those details. point bonus. Ooh. Sigma language. Yes, Sigma. See, you know, for Sigma, we would have to we would have to go back to the roots of Basic. Because here's the thing about the Basic language is that it was fairly safe. Peek and poke are not part of the 1968. Um, okay, this is closer. Peak and poke. Yes, indeed. Peak and poke. Yes. 
Yeah, the original 19, 1968, 19, or 1964 Dartmouth Basic. So let's, let's look. Delightful crotch shot of uh, Tom Kurtz. Go get him, Tom. Now, Sigma would be based on this. You would have it would have to be in all caps, all caps all the time. I think we can do without. Uh, we we must get rid of the line numbers. This is important. And we have to add many of the things, so. And so we need things like multi line ifs. So read and data. This one is not so much. Yeah, read and data we have as our option initializers. formula in Dirty, yes. All these delightful things. Yeah. Based on Dartmouth Basic. Oh. And it's 2024. Which means the Basic is 60 years old. Now it's not COBOL. Which is 65. Which can now get Social Security in the United States. There's, there's definitely some stuff here. Okay, let us, we're going to run this. Run the routine. Nuke it. We're going to export the database as SQL. Yes, please. External sources, what are you? Really? Interesting. It's a very strange thing to appear in my in my solution. I take it there's a little pocket uh Oh, there's an update. Of course it is. Although, that means I should probably...
tell. Is that only when it's running? Oh, well, yes, it is. Fantastic. Okay, so we close this, and it goes back. All right. Never mind. Mystery solved. The basic fantasy role-playing game system, and what do we need now? We need con mod effects hit dice. I think that's true. Okay. We need money now. Now, where does money get stored? Where is money? Money is just a thing that a character has, naturally. We just put money. And let's take a look at our um, MariaDB floating point types. Here's a float. Merrick data types. They're one for currency, decimal. Money, when you do money. So what does this do? Decimal point and for negative numbers, D minus sign and duck head. D is zero, they have no decimal part. Extra number of digits is 65. All right. Okay. So, money in this game, well, in, in the game, you have, well, let's, let's take a look at money. Money. Okay. So we have um, one gold piece is 10 silver pieces, one silver piece is 10 copper pieces. So we've got the concept of, uh, so the copper piece is basically the point zero 0.01. Okay. So that means that money Decimal two. Don't allow that. We need twenty. I don't know. We need twenty. Twenty plates. Doesn't matter. Decimal. Okay, so the character, now I cannot create characters because my persistence layer in my grimoire, in my columns, money, I'll go here. Friend const money equals money, right? Right, now. When I am my character details public read only property money as decimal. Okay. 
money as object. And that's me dot money equals money. Um, how do you, okay. VB conversion cint type conversion functions. There's a C deck. Okay, so C deck converts to a decimal. Right on. Okay, so now this is going to tell me, hey, our character details. C dot money. Okay, so that'll be in there. We'll say columns money. We will change you to X, comma, X columns money. Boom. Okay, so this is exactly this. There's some exactly the same stuff here. Uh, character D. Okay, we're going. We're gonna. We're gonna fix it, something here. Uh, shared read only. So it's private shared. Read only character detail. Columns as I enumerable of string equals this thing right here. So obviously. There's that. And I read on the okay, case. So two character details. So private shared function to character. You know what? Character details dot. So we're going to go address of character details dot from from record. I'm going to generate this method right here. Arg2. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. And
function character from record x, right? That's just going to be return. As uh, character details. Address of that. Perfect. The same thing goes. Here, yes, and this thing. So let me just take that. So much better. So it's like, here's my list of things. All right, yeah, but so when I create a character, right? There's create. Comma. Columns. Money. RNG. Random number generator dot. Nope, not that one. So I got an RNG in here somewhere, right? Oh, the persistence it needs. Nope. Money as decimal. Money as decimal. Okay. Argument is not specified for money. So, RNG, roll dice, three. Six times ten, and then that should convert it to the decimal. Will it work? Don't know because I'm not sure how decimal stuff is going to work in here. Called test. We make a new character also called test. Here's a cleric. Character description, fantastic. How much money does he have? Got 70.0 money. I want to also be able to see uh, on his Be able to see in the presentation? No. No. In, it's all in business, really. So here in business, in the character, existing character, character menu, get some money in here.
Money. 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 Yes, I'll start it back. I wanted to see this money. Show me the money. Money. Hey, seventy point zero zero. Fantastic. So good. Ah. <sighs> Going back, going back. Okay, quit. Yeah. Oh, let's get it in the uh, character sheet. Where's money? Hit points, armor class, money. Details, money. Well, we can. We do gold, silver, and copper. Should we, should we convert it? Give me a character sheet. What's this character sheet say now? He's test the elf cleric. Okay, he's got a hit. He's got one hit. Really? One hit point? Is that really true? Okay. Got one hit point. Oh, he's he's in a bath. Okay, uh, this is squishy. Multiplayer is hard. I I believe you're having a hard time. Yeah, concurrency is, is, because, all right. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh. Well, don't give up, Graham. Don't give up. A distributed state management system with real-time requirements and lossy connections and potential potentially hackers looking for exploits. What's hard about that? See? Okay, we've got money. Yeah. I got a print preview. Yeah. Good times. Well, there we go. We got money on the character sheet. Money. Money's on the character sheet.
Well, it's time to make my own little private private language regarding uh, HTML generation. Right? Right. But first... But first... But first. Like to hold on, let's get sure that the always but first. Yes. Step one, nuke the player data. Step two, rescaffold. Step three, check that junk in. Rescaffold. But first, absolutely. Boom, boom. Hi. Okay, so we're gonna make a delightful TD. Private. Function TD. Text as string. As string. Right. So we're going to return. Well, of course, that needs to be escaped. So dot uh, net HTML escape. That's still there. We don't know what that is. We're going to import it. That's what we're doing. Okay, we're going to make that. Right there. Optional. Call span. As integer equals one. Okay, so we're gonna do we're gonna do a call span. Right on. Right? So Making a private HTML encoder. Do do do. Because who wants to do? Go TD. That thing. TD. That thing. 
Okay, take it too. Make a TR. That's a little new. A TR. Private function TR. Um. Lines as string as parameter. Dim builder as new string builder. Return builder to string. Okay, so builder append we'll put the TR in here. I don't need to do this at all. So I'm just gonna return blah TR plus TR. And string dot join string dot empty and lines. I will call you dot append. TR take that one and that one. Okay, so here's the TR, here's a TD, here's another TD. Hello, Kovalev. Ooh, that's only a row span. Optional row span. As integer one, sure thing. Row span equals row span. Yeah, let's do that. TD here. And we'll get another TD here. Okay. So good, so good. I 
Well, this needs to be in the head, doesn't it? Head. Let's see if we're still working. Let's do a new player called Test. A new character called Test. A fighter. Sure thing. Character sheet. Are we still looking all right? We're still looking all right. So that's good. This is how we look. We look like we ought to. Another append. Okay, we don't have any things like that. where class goes in this is where level goes in Oh, so this is so optional escape as boolean equals true. So we go if escape, then that, otherwise the text. And call you escape HTML. Or call you HTML and code. Bush Gore Balak. So now we need. Okay, we have to go from the inside out so that we can actually make, we're gonna make a different table thing in a minute here. Dot append PR. All three TDs. Two and three. All right. So this is your ability detail, ability abbreviation. It's your ability detail, ability score. 
Ability Detail Ability Modifier. Okay, so that should bring that in there. We're going to put another, just do a TH. Do we just make a TH? I think we do make a TH. Or do we make it a TD that is a TH? We overload this. I think we, we overload all the things. Optional header as boolean equals false. If header and this if you're the header, then you're th, otherwise you're td. There's a lot of stuff there. TD does a lot of stuff. And TR. So we have the TR, here's a TD, TD, TD. Header. Okay, so your ability scoring modifier. Ability. Score. If I pull up, I want to keep that. I want to keep the the table. Right on. And we'll stop it and we'll do this again to see. Working so far. All right, doing great. Doing great. And done. So next up here, um, so next up we're going to have a table function, right? Private function table parameter lines as string that that as string. And we 
be table. Oof, 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 oof. And uh, border as Boolean. If order we say border equals border. Otherwise nothing. Well, that's fine. Table true. Oh, I still can't do that yet. Can't do this one. I can do this inner one. I'm pretty sure. what I'd like to be able to do, right? So I can't do this yet. What I need here is dim abilities sub table <sighs> equals as a new list of string from There's that one. Then abilities subtable. Add range? This is an add range. All right. What does it return? Adds the elements of the specific place to the end of the list. Oh, add range. This select function something. Oh, dude. Ability detail. Jacked it up real good. Okay. So uh, that append table. True abilities subtable to array. Okay. 
sure. Does this thing still work? And it still does. So, you can see the, the ability thing is, okay, let's look at the page source. And it just makes, goes that way. This is the one, yep. Go. That's right, single line. Single line HTML, go get them. Yeah, oh boy, good times. All right. What do you mean? Ability scores table is that? That's cool. Oh, no. So we can make all this. We can put a TD around it. Put a TR around that. Okay, so now we're nothing but T. Uh, okay, and now we can roll that up into a new table. This is going to be gross. All right. Okay, great. So, a lot more condensed. Here's a table that has these rows. Oh, there's another TD. This is going, nope. Still not quite right. Another TD. Yeah, there should be another TD. is no TD and another, ah okay so it goes all the way to here okay 
I just jacked it up. So now we're it's gonna look weird. But we'll get it there. Yes. Behold. Blah. Putting that in the TD. This should. Um... For one thing, let's get that unescaped. Okay, so that's better. Now we just gotta get the rest of this stuff into here. Right? Right. Oop, just okay, that doesn't even check. That's fun. Well, sir, you are an addict. You are physically dependent upon camera. I understand these things. It's a table. points and this okay okay so that should give me all of that all right Let's have this here. So, oh, nope, we need to have that not. better will be better character sheet and there it is all right good got that one getting closer to restoring our faith in the character sheet so come on TD table We're going to be false. One, two, three. One, two, and three. 
I probably need two of them. Movement and money. Gone. Okay, getting down to this. Sweet. All right, so we're down to those things. So, all right, that's that's a that's a good that's a good spot to be at. Come back, come back, come back. Boop, and yes, because I'm super hungry. I'm super hungry. Uh, approaching a better way of composing. The character sheet. So right on and right on. Okay, so trace in. We'll have that, that, and that, and those will be done. And we'll have parity with what we had right here. Super good. So delighted. Uh, but now I got a lot of I got a lot of cooking and stuff to do today. Yep, we're getting there, and so yeah, this is we have to. We've now got everything in a. We're gonna have everything in a table, and then we'll also wrap up. So that's good. Let's find let's find a crotch to raid. Turbo dice. We well he'll sit down at some point. That's, he'll sit down. Don't worry. He sits down. Absent crutch. All right. You get. The, you can do it, Clay. You can do it. The mega. The, that mega flush is within your grasp. All right. Thanks everybody so much for hanging out. And get off my lawn. Just, 